Hi everyone! Welcome to another story time and craft. Today we're going to be reading a book that I've got right here. It's called Planting a Rainbow and it's written and illustrated by Lois Eller. Every year, Mom and I plant a rainbow. Do you see that rainbow? It's spelled all different colors. In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. These are what bulbs look like. They're kind of like seeds. We order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long. Do you recognize any of the flowers? What about daisies? We wait for spring to warm the soil and sprout the bulbs. Bulbs have little roots coming down and shoots going up. Then it's time to go out to the garden center to select some seedlings. Oh, they've got their wagon all full. Then we sow the seeds and set out the plants in the soil. Watch the rainbow grow. Everything's coming up at once. And grow, and grow. Do you see all the flowers coming in? They're all different colors of the rainbow. We have some red flowers, like tulips, carnations, and roses. And orange flowers, like zinnia, tiger lilies, and poppies. We have some yellow blooms. Yellow is my favorite color. I love daisies, and marigolds, and daffodils. We grow something green, like ferns, and some blue flowers, like morning glories, delphinium, hyacinth, and corn flowers. They don't look like corn. And some purple flowers too, like crocus. Right now, you might see crocuses. They're one of the first flowers to sprout in spring. Phlox, irises, violets, and pansies. Don't forget about aster. All summer long, we pick them and bring them home. We've made a little bouquet. When summer is over, we know we can grow our rainbow again next year. That's the end of our story. So now we get to make our craft. Any guesses for what we're making today? Probably something flower related. Maybe planting seeds in a garden? That would be right. You're going to take your kit, which this week has everything you need to plant your own garden. Starting from seeds, they'll grow roots, send up stems, which you can add leaves to, and then the blossoms. Let's take those out. 
Silly cat. He always wants to make crafts too. All right. I'm taking out the stems and leaves. And I found a little envelope that has my soil in it. I have one for seeds and roots. I have my flower centers. And I have all these flower petals. I'm gonna make a mess and just dump them out. I like spreading out all my materials, so I know what I'm working with. Then I try to keep them organized so I don't make too much of a mess. And lastly, I've got my white piece of paper. It looks pretty plain now, but once we add the garden to it, it can be a beautiful rainbow. my paper down and I'm going to start with the soil. I'm going to pour out the soil onto my paper which is fun and a little messy. Not as messy as real dirt would be. Have you ever planted anything in a garden? Maybe helped out your mom? Like the character in the story? We've got our soil. So what we're gonna do is take our glue stick and put down a layer of glue. It would be tough to glue all these tiny little pieces individually. So what I like to do is just spread the glue on the bottom of the paper wherever I want the soil to be. I've also got my paper a long ways so that my flowers have plenty of room to grow. Next I'm going to take the soil and sprinkle it over the glue part. Just like this. Trying to fill in all the white spots. And then I can pat my soil in. Keep gluing. And putting down more soil until your ground's kind of full. too much if there are little spaces of white because we actually can use that for the next step. Okay, I'm feeling good about my soil, but you can take more time to put down as much dirt as you think your flowers need. Next, I'm going to take this little yellow bag that says seeds and roots. Let's open it up. Inside, pour it out. I've got five black seeds. We've got big ones and little ones. We also have some brown roots. So I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to plant these five seeds in the soil. I'm going to start with the big ones and put one on the left side and one on the right side. And I'm going to place them deep in the soil just like you plant them the ground. Next, 
Not bad. The little seeds. Different plants grow from different kinds of seeds. Just like the flowers we saw in the book. We don't have any plants that are growing from bulbs here, but plants grow from them too. The difference is that bulbs stay in the ground all winter long and then come up again next spring. So you don't have to plant them every year. All right. Now I've got my seeds in the ground. I'm gonna add some roots. So when a seed is ready to grow, because it has enough water and sunlight to start, you can send out roots. And the roots are gonna go deep into the soil. a couple roots to each seed. And that way they'll be able to soak up water under the ground. Add another root. You can take as much time as you need. And maybe you only wanted to plant two seeds. Maybe you only want to add one root to each seed. That's okay. You can grow your garden any way you like, as long as you're having fun. All right. I'm gonna add one more root, then I think I'm going to start growing my flowers. So what comes next? We've got our soil, we've got our seeds, we've got our roots. I think the next step would be the stems. Stems are these tall green stalks and you can place them wherever your seeds are. I have one seed here and another here. I'm going to do a straight line, put down my first stem, and then I'll draw another straight line in glue and put down my next one. I'm going to do that for all of my seeds in a little bit, but for right now, I'll show you how to do three. I've chosen the biggest, tallest stem for my bigger seed. Just like this. I'm going to add leaves to my stems. Got big tall leaves like this. I'll add to my big flower. I'm going to have them growing off one at the bottom and one higher up. Like that. kinds of leaves. Maybe it has round ones and pointed ones. Maybe it doesn't have any leaves at all. It's up to you. You can make your flowers look like flowers in the story we read, or you can invent flowers that are totally your own. Using your imagination is what will make your garden interesting. Okay. There we 
go. I think that's looking pretty good. So next, I get to make my flowers. For this, we're gonna use all those colorful petals. And you can stick them on any way you want. I'll show you how to do a round flower, like a daisy, and then show you some other kinds that you can do. So if you want to do a round flower, you can draw a big glue circle and start sticking down your petals. I think I'll make mine red, like a big red poppy, which we read about. Maybe like a big red carnation. You're going to glue your petals one on top of the other with the round parts facing out. You can add a little bit more glue to the tops of the petals go. That way everything keeps sticking. And your flower doesn't have to be all red either. Maybe you have rainbow flowers that have red petals and yellow petals, blue petals, even green petals. I don't think I've ever seen a flower with green petals. last petal down and there you go that's how you can make a round flower if you made a flower like this you can grab one of these yellow circles and put that right in that center kinds of flowers. Like, maybe you remember that tall, spiky blue flower in the book called hyacinth? You could try making one of those. For a flower like that, add a bunch of glue to the top of your stem, just really pack it on there. Add the petals. V shapes. You see that? The round part goes up, the bottom part connects to the stem. And you can just stick those. And I'm using both color blues, a bright blue and a light blue to make this flower. All right, I'm gonna add one more petal to the top. I'm going to give you plenty of time to work on your garden, make your flowers, name your flowers. I have uh, more to do on my own here. You can take as much time as you need to make your garden grow. Or maybe you're already done. Either way, I'd love to see the gardens you come up with. So once you're finished, you can ask a grown-up help you take a picture of your garden and send it to me at the library. 
That way, we can share our rainbows with each other. And we don't have to wait for summer. All right. I will see you next story time. Thank you for reading with me. Bye.